Hi, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Today, I want to feature a customer video. And this is uh, you know, a customer and I consider a pretty good friend of mine, Mike, that is going to show you guys um, his setup with our wind turbine and some power output production. Um, or you know, maybe just a tour of the basic setup in this video. For those of you that are wondering how that stuff integrates, uh, here it is. Check it out. Leave the comments below if there's something else you'd like to see. Thank you. Okay, it is day two of adding the clipper. And as you can see, we have a little bit of wind going on today. It's not a tremendous amount of wind. Uh, supposed to get breezier this afternoon. But uh, I thought I would go over the cabinet with you a little bit. <clears throat> so we have the clipper installed and the power from the turbine comes in, goes in to the clipper, is three phase, and the three phase is then turned to DC through a rectifier. And it is monitored to make sure that it doesn't go above the set point that I have in the box which protects the rest of the equipment and it will control the speed of the turbine. After that comes out it goes into this lovely little box right here which is our clipper DC out going into our classic our DC in and we will then <clears throat> take that and control it through the Classic. And I have a 250 Classic set up on it right now. Uh, I've got a pretty good draw going on my 24 volt battery bank. I've got uh, not only the inverter running, but uh, we've got some heaters running and some battery chargers uh, taking care of some batteries on some equipment inside the building and uh, right now the battery state of charge is at about 86 percent and it's uh, uh, pretty steady at 86 percent it's been running all night and uh, the wind has been uh, maintaining that percentage of course we didn't have the solar at that time so now the sun is up and we're adding two but it uh, after it comes out of the uh, classic it comes out and goes over to the inverter and then the inverter is also of course tied down to the battery bank I wanted to take the opportunity to show you that now we have the Sun coming in so PVN PVN goes into the classic and that's a 200 and <clears throat> we're getting a little bit of sunshine this morning so uh, that is also being augmented into our batteries comes out of the uh, PV out and of course does the same track. I wanted to take the opportunity to remove the cover on the clip. And give you guys a look inside. So what we have, as we said yesterday and today, uh, our power, our three phase is coming in here. Nice heavy duty block. Uh, that then in turn comes out and goes to two DC, or I'm sorry, two AC breakers. Uh, we have uh, three phase. Um, the first breaker is turned upside down and has a shorting bar going across it. The second breaker is uh, what I would consider normal, right side up. So the power goes into the bottom of each and comes out of the top of the other one going up to the rectifier and I'll take a moment to show you why they do that. So on one side, when you turn this on and allow the power to go through, you're actually turning off the shorting breaker. The shorting breaker would just act as a stator shorter uh, across all three phases of the wind turbine, which would make it come to a standstill. Uh, <clears throat> down below we have the uh, little spike protectors and you can see the blue lights are flickering uh, that's indicating as it's as it's
turning and bringing power in, they, they flicker. The faster it goes, the faster they flicker. But uh, that's the on and off switch for the box. Then it comes up and goes to the three phase, uh, goes to the bridge rectifier where it's converted to DC. That DC signal is sent down and across to this board. This board has also spike protection built into it and it has a little potentiometer up here in the uh, corner that allows you to set the voltage so that it doesn't exceed the control voltage of the input voltage of the classic. <clears throat> I've got this one set at about 200 volts as my maximum although I have a 250 volt classic sitting up there that gives me about 50 volts of uh, security in my mind and uh, inside after it comes out of out of this board as I said it goes into this breaker box and then comes out and goes up and goes into our classic now the aux 2 output of the classic has a specific function to work with the clipper and it pulse width modulates so once it once the batteries become full or if the power happens to be a little bit too high what it's going to do is it'll come into this board and it will send a signal up to this nice teledyne relay that's up here and these resistors which are tied to that relay and you can see the shorting bar going across the bottom of the relay there and as that is pulse switch modulated it will basically uh, short the stator and slow it down uh, not bringing it to a stop just to slow it down uh, it's all working very nicely this morning uh, the batteries are not fully charged yet so it's not uh, not doing that and as you can see the voltage is not uh, being exceeded again we got a 250 volt classic and we're only running about uh, 70 to 100 volts occasionally. I've seen it as high as 120 so far this morning. Uh, putting out a small amount of current. And uh, that's pretty much the inside of the clipper. Uh, great box. It's going to uh, increase the longevity of the uh, turbine itself. And uh, hopefully we're adding uh, more layers of protection to the equipment.